My name is Sergio Saya and I am a real estate broker. I've been in the business a pretty long time, uh, 30 plus years. And I wanted to talk to you about for sale by owners. If you're a for sale by owner, uh, which is somebody that's trying to sell their house without a real estate broker, uh, I think that you should listen to what I'm about to say. If you're a new agent, maybe you can learn a little bit from me. If you're a veteran agent, maybe this will refresh you. But I want to talk to you about this because for sale by owner people, people that are trying to sell uh, the house for sale by owner in this market, they feel all powerful. They feel almighty because the market is very hot and they feel that they can sell the house on their own. And that's really a myth. And I want to dispel that myth for you. So I hope that you give me about five, 10 minutes of your time and I can show you why. Okay. So Facebook for sale by owner. Years ago when I started real estate, they used to say that this stands for for uh, frustrated, frustrated sellers batting zero. Okay. Which could be the truth. Anyway, the theory is behind selling the house on your own is that you make more money because you're saving on a broker's commission. You're saving on that four, five, six percent, whatever that number is. Um, you're not tied up to anybody. You're you're a free agent. You can do whatever the heck you want. You're you're more flexible because now you can play with the money, uh, with the commissions, reducing your price, not reducing your price, things like that. Uh, you're direct to the buyer, so the buyer can call you directly. They don't have to go through uh, a realtor or a broker, and uh, they don't have to go through the third degree, right? Because that's what we do. We give people the third degree. That's what people think, right? They know their houses better than anybody, so they can sell it. A homeowner feels that they know their house so that they can sell it. So let me dispel these. So these are the theory, right? The reality is that you make more money. It's not true. It's not true. Homes that sell with a realtor sell for 25%. That's a national statistics um, proved by the National uh, Association of Realtors, 25%. So in that 25%, there's room for a realtor's commission and there's room for you to make more money. Why does that happen? It happens easily. You know why? Because we are expert negotiators. We know how to negotiate on your behalf to get you more money in your pocket. So that's very important that you know that. Okay. You're not tied up. Guess what, guys? In this market, you're not tied up anyway because houses are selling within hours, days, weeks. So you're not tied up at all. In fact, we make the transaction go better because we know all the paperwork. We know what the, what the disclosures are needed to be signed. We make sure that the buyers are real good buyers. In other words, we work for you so that the transaction stays together, right? Um, more flexible. You're not more flexible. You know why you're not more flexible? Because you're overpriced. You're not pricing the house right. So if you were pricing your house right, you wouldn't need to be flexible. It's that simple. So the fact that you think that you're flexible is a non-issue because you're not flexible because you're, you're, you're overpricing your house by like 6, 7, 10% because you don't know what you're doing. You don't know what... And I, and I mean that in a respectful way, by the way. You don't know what you're doing because you're not a real estate broker. You're not in the real estate business. You haven't done this hundreds and thousands of times like we have. We know how to price homes, and that's important. And we get you more money because we price the home right, okay? So direct to buyer. This is true, by the way. People can call you directly. People, people can, uh, can, can make a phone call and get you on the phone. And that's true. The tire kickers love that because they're not going to call me because I'm going to ask them, you know, probing questions. You know, we're going to have a conversation and I'm going to find out, well, how much money you want to put down? You know, how much your investment do you want to make? Uh, are you pre-approved? Uh, can I have your name? Can I have your number? Uh, and, and do a background search, light background search, right? Not a full deep you know, involvement. So it's easy to call you direct, but that's a disadvantage because you don't want people to call you direct that are just tire kickers that just want to come in and see what uh, what type of furniture you have. If you're in a really expensive home, oh, let's go look at a million dollar homes this week. Honey, you want to go driving around to all the for sale by owners? We don't have to give our names. We don't have to do anything. We can just walk into the house, right? So yeah, direct to buyer, you think it's an advantage, but it's actually a disadvantage. Okay, and I want to leave you with one safety tip, right? If I'm a burglar and if I, and if I have bad intentions, which one is it easier to case a house if I wanted to, right? Uh, is it a house that's for sale by owner where you don't put me through any of the third degrees? Or 
Is it more difficult to go with an agent? Obviously, the answer is that to go directly to a homeowner, if I had bad intentions, I can go look at all the for sale by owners and, and very simply say, hey, listen, um, I want to come back with my wife uh, tomorrow. Uh, what time is good? And you say, innocently, you don't know, well, tomorrow we're going to be away. Actually, we're going on vacation. You just told this person that the house is going to be um, vacant and there's not going to be anybody in there. You gave them the, the perfect opportunity to rob you. Do I, does that happen all the time? No, but it can happen. And you have to understand that, okay? Knowing the house better, that is 100% correct. You, as the seller or your seller knows the house better than you will ever, ever know because they've lived in it, they've improved it. But guess what? Is that important? It's somewhat important, but it's not the most important. You know what the most important thing is when dealing with buyers and with realtors? It's called the dominant buying motive. The reason why a buyer will buy the house, what the buyer is looking for. If you're a homeowner, you don't know what the dominant buying motive is of the buyer. The agent does because we interview them. We, we sit with them. We show them 10, 15, 10, 15, 20 houses. I don't know. But we get to know the people. We get to know what they like and what they don't like. You have only one house to sell. So you're going to show things and you're going to, uh, going to um, push items that these people might not be interested in. You might turn them off. And you don't know what the, you, you might know what your house is, but you don't know what their dominant buying motive is. So do you understand? This is the advantage of having a realtor, somebody that works in, in your favor, somebody that works to protect your interests in the market. So these are fake. These are real. Use a realtor. It's your benefit, okay? It's in your best interest. Use a realtor. They know what they're doing better than you. And if you ever run into problems, like out of possession, appraisals, inspections. Who do you think is going to help you? Your lawyer? Wrong. Your lawyer doesn't help you at all. All your lawyer does, he fills in a template, okay, and then addresses maybe some problems, but not the appraisal, not the engineer's inspection, things like that. That's where your realtor is indispensable, and that's why you want to hire a realtor. Not only for that, but for all the other reasons, okay? So good luck. Hopefully, you'll hire a good realtor, and uh, God bless you.